Ghost Master? Ooh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. <gasps> oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans or... The maracas I ordered last week! Postmaster, these are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding. Hi, Postmaster Bumblebee. Now, what could it be that I'm forgetting? <laughs> Could it be this? <laughs> Delivery from Happy Pappy Snapapple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you. Now I can finish my Snappy Happle Apple Snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good. Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation. I'm so excited. It's like I'm there. <laughs> We're not there yet. We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance. Oh, I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. <gasps> what do you think? I love it! And I'll be surfing those perfect azure wings. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna wanna sing! Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. A tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance. Check. Swimsuits check. Beach towels check. Second set of beach towels for when the first set's wet. Check. Uh oh. Wow, Orange. Are you ever organized? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just the vacation checklist that I made. Whoa, look at you. I've hardly started packing and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? Good point. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so She's very nice. nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization, that's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Later. Better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep, there's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality, that's the key to a happy vacation. <sighs> I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> Breeze. 
Hmm. Guess not. Hey, look! Huh? Who said no? Somebody's coming! There you are! No, oh, I'm so very sorry. This letter was delayed by bad weather. It just arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us. <laughs> Next year? What is it? Two months from now. We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. I really had my heart set on Berry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. There must be other resorts. Yes. I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. You. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm. More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Berry Breezy Bay Resort. With a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Berry Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place, a place where everyone in Berry Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests. Just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? <laughs> yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. Just gonna take some good old fashioned hard work. Or sun shine crafts. Do -do 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 -do. Do you really think she can pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? Yeah, yeah let's we have do it, it together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, let's see. Oh, why, yes, yes, you can. Lemon, you help Eric and Bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Eric and Bill on the sand. Cherry, you start very Heave, go! Heave, go! One down, 2,000 loads to go. Hmm. This is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? What if we try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it? That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. Um, no, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sandcastle. Here, like this. 
But how do I... I mean, how can I... It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect! Just the right size for transplanting our berry bitty coconut palms. Um, where are our berry bitty coconut palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My berry bitty plant food is having a bit of trouble trying to bitty ice these big boys. How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! Too much shade. I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery. <laughs> oh no. Let's see. What's next? Hey, Orange. You want to have a look at this? Sure, Master. Um, where is it? Oh, it, um, <laughs> uh, hmm, I, I could have sworn, but I, huh. Maybe we should try some lemonade. Well, that's very pretty. Oh, but it sure is starting to smell awful. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. It has to be exactly like the sand at Berry Breezy Bay. Well, we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very big breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it. <laughs> your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? The resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork. That's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. She can't be serious. We can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. <sighs> I'll go talk with her. 19 and 20. Orange. Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh... Not coming. Why not? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! <gasps> Oh, for a minute there, I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope, these are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? 
Oh, those aren't any good. Oh, I, I think they are. Oh, come on. Just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs? They're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This. Right here. That's us having fun, having a great vacation together. Isn't that what matters most? Well, but... Wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... Um, I think what makes it fun is us being together. Having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. And Raspberry, build any kind of sandcastle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> Oh, I have so many this is ideas. Be great. Come on, let's get going. exact shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mmm, they taste great in these pies. Who needs the very breezy bay hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, tomorrow Vacation begins! Welcome to our very own Berry Pity Resort! Yeah! <laughs> Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all
out pretty good, don't you think? It's paradise, Orange. <laughs> Our very own tropical paradise. Because we're together, being with friends. That's the key. Yeah! <laughs> hey, look, everybody! Surf's up! Ready to start making finger sandwiches for the tea party? Ooh, better than that, Miss Shortcake. I spent the entire night thinking up new culinary treats, perfect for tea parties. What do you think of a wheat, grass, corn, husk, and pickled butter puff? It sounds very... Uh, interesting. I <laughs> can't wait to try it. Oh, neither can I. <laughs> 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 I can't play now. Do you want to come in? Pumpkin <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, custard. <laughs> you two. Come on. You'll have to stay out of the way. Are you ready to try my spectacular wheat, grass, corn husk, and pickled butter puff? Oh. Um, <laughs> yes. Mmm. 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 <laughs> that is very, um, hmm, different. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Maybe an acquired taste. You know, something you have to get used to. Not for everyone, are they? <laughs> you need a sense of adventure to enjoy them. <laughs> Honestly, Mr. Longface, it might be too much adventure for me, but maybe others will take to them. <gasps> How'd you... Oh, are you all right? Oh, you want to play? <laughs> I'm sorry. I told you, I'm just too busy today. my next creation. The first ever strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, lemon orange plum tea sandwich. Oh, strange. Strange? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant that is strange. Custard and Pupcake didn't come back for lunch. Ooh, oh, my. Uh, that's not only strange, it, it's... Why, it's unheard of. Oh, dear. I hope something hasn't happened to them. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Longface. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. They're probably just... Oh, 
out playing and just lost track of time. Beware the metal tear. What a day. <laughs> Everything's out to Watch out for the pops. Mr. Longface is pride and joy. His wheatgrass corn husk can pickle butter pups. Strawberry? What's so interesting out there? Oh, uh, nothing. They're not back yet? Who's not back yet? Oh, Custard and Pupcake. Have you seen them? Are they missing? Oh, I'm sure they're just playing. <laughs> you know those two. Poor things. What if something's happened to them? Now, don't worry. They'll come back when they're ready. little creatures out there. <laughs> Maybe lost in the big world. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Longface. After the tea party, I'll go out and find them. If there's anything I can do to help. That's very kind of you. Perhaps later you could keep things going here while I step outside and call them. Happily. Uh, just say when. Uh, now. <laughs> this long, have they? Don't worry, girls. I'll find them in no time. I know all their favorite spots. Please, go back and enjoy the party. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug will think they've been abandoned. But we can help you look, Strawberry. But they've been looking forward to this party for weeks. The Ladybugs won't miss me. But if you leave, I mean, <laughs> the party just started. Party is over. I do apologize, Miss Shortcake. I couldn't stop them. We can have a tea party any old time, but right now, we're having a search party <laughs> to help you find your pets. And we brought finger sandwiches. Good oh, news. Yeah. yeah! Thank you, everyone. What are friends for? <laughs> reading a Patty Persimmon mystery book that Blueberry recommended, and there's a search party scene, and they were able to find a missing Glimmerberry by splitting up. Great idea! Oh, uh, Katie Bag and I will distribute food and drinks to all parties soon as she gives me the basket! Oh! <sighs> <sighs> Bug. Don't mind if I do. Oh, thank goodness the rain is stopping. Now, quick, guys, we're off. Have to supply the berry kids. <laughs> thank you. Wait, that looks like a Mr. Longface special. Oh, uh, thanks for reminding me. Uh, I'll just save this for later. Hmm, I think I'll do this. 
the same. Hmm. An Arboralis Lunaria usually stands straight up. The pets must have been through here and bent it. Oh, wonderful observation, Berrikin Bloom. Wow. This is really reminding me of the mystery Blueberry gave me. The search party was in a dark woods like this. And while they were tracking the missing Glimmerberry, the mean, nasty, very naughty thief was tracking them! Oh. oh, hey! I read that mystery. Patty Persimmon, genius detective, on the case of the mean, nasty, very naughty Glimmerberry thief. Exactly how mean, nasty, and um, uh, what was the rest? Very naughty. Oh, dear. But it turns out it wasn't a thief at all. <sighs> Thank goodness. It was really a forest oh. monster. Yeah, they call it the Slither Slider. <laughs> Did you hear? <laughs> nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, perhaps something that sounded sort of like a... Slither? <laughs> uh, not, not at all. Wait for us! <laughs> I would not estimate that they would come this far. I don't recognize this area. It's not even on the map I printed out. And there's no path. Oh, I've just got to look everywhere. They have to be somewhere. Let's head out a little farther. I certainly wouldn't want to get lost out here in this rainy weather like they might be. Lost? My pets? I know. I read in a story about two kids who made a trail of breadcrumbs so that they could find their way home. Oh, I know that story. Um, doesn't, um, the breadcrumb trail get eaten? But no one will eat this. You're clever, Blueberry. Come on, now we won't get lost. Strikes in the rain. Well, come on. Let's keep going. Into this rain? Well, we have to find the pets. Uh oh. Uh, quick, up here. This way. Uh, let's go in here. Oh, it's Brian here. Come on. <laughs> You just look at that. Someone's been littering. Strawberry always says, pack it in, pack it out. Whatever you bring into the wilderness, you should bring out. Did you hear that? Oh, I'm afraid that I did. It couldn't be the slither slider. Orange raspberry! Oh, my. Handing out search party snacks is super hard. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, let's have a rest. Oh, why not enjoy a snack ourselves? Oh, hey, I was.
Someone's saving that sandwich for me! Finders keepers, losers, waiters. Uh, nah, uh. <laughs> We're over here! Listen, it's coming closer! Oh, Tothrot! to come home, but they'll be back tomorrow. What if they're trapped somewhere? I don't think that's likely. Oh, I miss them so much. Could they have run away? <laughs> Strawberry, are you just the night air uh, making me 
师傅。Strawberry, you must be so worried. And all we've been talking about is how worried we are. You poor thing. You love those pets so much. I didn't want to make everyone upset, but I'm just so scared I won't find them. And and maybe they did run away. You see, they wanted me to play with them, but I was too busy. Oh, I was silly to say that. They would never run away, not with someone like you taking care of them. They know how much you love them, and they love you. Don't you worry, Strawberry. We will find them no matter what. Ooh, I hope so. <laughs> I'm so glad you all came to look with me. Quick, run! <laughs> run for your lives! <laughs> We heard it coming from underground. We heard weird noises underground too. Wait a minute. Underground. What if that's why the pets didn't come home? What do you mean, Strawberry? Well, all of us have searched everywhere from above. And if the pets were underground and didn't know what time of day it was, they might lose track of time. Exactly. Mr. Longface, Barry can bloom. Where did you hear the noises? <laughs> Back there. Custard? Pot cake! On a winter's night, but it didn't. It didn't? <laughs> no, it happened on a winter's day. And because it was a winter's day, you might think it was cold, but it wasn't. It wasn't? No, it was as warm as spring. Everywhere you looked, winter was leaving. Now, you might think everyone would be happy, but they weren't. Oh. People were sorry to see winter leave so soon. 
I barely get these wonderful winter fashions designed and then displayed. And no one's even tried or, or barely seen or tried them on. And now I have to take them all down. Hi, hi Raspberry. Raspberry. Oh, hi. Uh, did you come to buy some wonderful winter fashions? Well, we were looking for something a little more... Springy. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. Well, I better get busy designing my spring line. And all over town, that's how it was. The early spring caught everyone by surprise. Oh, Bowie, you said your story was about winter. And it is. How can it be winter when it's warm? <laughs> well, you'll just have to be patient and see what happens. And so it was that lots of folks were sad to see winter turn warm. Lots of folks, but not everyone. Here you go. Hot chocolate? We should have ordered lemonade. Yeah, ice cold lemonade. Haven't you noticed the heat outside? <laughs> What's so wrong with an early spring? Everything. My store is overstocked with fruitcake, chestnuts, and marshmallows. I barely got to show off the new knit hat and matching scarf and mittens the raspberry made for me. The snow melted before I ever got a chance to go sledding or build a snowman, or play my favorite winter game, Capture the Snowman's Nose. Oh, yeah! Oh, snowman's Nose! I really love that game. You know, we might not be able to wear our mittens until next winter, but we could play Capture the Snowman's Nose now. And to do that, we'd need snowmen. Exactly. And to do that, we'd need it to snow. <laughs> not necessarily. So, all you gotta do is keep the juicerating confabulator turned on, keep this dial point here, flip on the freezelator like so, and presto! Instant snow! Thank you, Barricade Bruce. This is great! <laughs> well, let's build our snowmen! Let's take this game away! 
for me to make all the decisions about what's fair for everybody else. And in Berry Bitty City, everybody's opinions get to be heard. So, what do you think the rules should be? Oh, uh -oh. I don't well, know. Of I haven't uh, thought of any. Barricade Bloom? Uh, what if the rule was simply anything that's fun? Yeah! yeah. Good. Should we put it to a vote? Yeah! All in favor of the only rule being anything that's fun, say aye. Aye! All opposed, say nay. <laughs> the ayes have it. The rule is passed. on this side. And the other three berrykins can form a team with raspberry, orange, and lemon. Now, each team will have the same advantages. Oh, no! Look! Uh-oh. It's melting! Quick, get some more 
Strawberry, it's just too warm. The snow making machine can't keep it cool. Thanks for trying, Barry Can Bruce. Aw, well, that's it. Fun while it lasted. Just when we worked out the teams. <sighs> Guess we'll have to wait till next winter. Yeah. Aww, <laughs> Hold on, everybody. Gather round. What if we made our snowman out of something other than snow? Oh, anybody have any ideas of what we can use to build a snowman that's white and fluffy? You mean besides mashed potatoes? Mashed potatoes! That's it! Hey, I was joking! I'm not! It could work! Come on, everybody! Like winter. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put away my winter fashions. Do you think it's too cold and windy to play? <laughs> yes, and it'll be getting dark soon. Let's come back in the morning. Meanwhile, hot chocolate for everyone at the cafe. <laughs> Very next morning, they discovered all their carrots had mysteriously disappeared. Well, this snowman's carrots are gone too. And, and we used most of the carrots we saved in the winter storehouse for playing the game. <sighs> and it looks like winter is coming back. Aha! Gotcha! I know who our thieves are. Light on their feet, but not light enough for me. Little do they know, I've read all 120 Patty Persimmon Girl Detective novels. Or is it 130? And I can say conclusively, without a shadow of a doubt, that the culprits are absolutely, positively... Squirrels. Yes! Uh, Yep, squirrel tracks. Three sets of them, it looks like. That is absolutely correct. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Squirrels can get very hungry. And three of them are three times as hungry. What if our carrots aren't enough for them? You mean, if they started eating the rest of our food? Yes. The crops we've stocked up in case it's a bad winter. Oh, it's not going to be a bad winter. I mean... It didn't look bad yesterday. Looks like a blizzard might be brewing. Well, in that case, shouldn't we try to leave something out for them? You know, share what we have. But if the winter gets really bad, what we have might not even be enough for us. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm with Barry Can Bloom. If a big blizzard hits, our berry bitty gardens and orchards would be buried. All we'd have to eat until spring would be frozen berrysicles. I think I'm with Strawberry. Shouldn't we share? Oh, I really oh, think yeah. we should. Good. That's Sharing good idea. is what we should do. Oh, well, no. Not if I we don't agree at all, because, because we no. can run out. We have, we have to. to. Oh, since this is really important and everyone in town will have an opinion, I think we should vote. Well, all right. right. I agree. Yes. 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 This 
vote is for yes. And the last vote is for no. So, on the question of should we share our stores of winter food with the squirrels and other animals, the vote is... a tie! The number of yes votes and no votes are the same. Oh. 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 What? Oh. What? what will we do? Oh. Did everyone vote? Oh. 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 Good. Wait, did you vote? Oh, <laughs> you're right. I was so busy taking care of this, I forgot to. <laughs> um, well, no matter which way I vote, some of you are going to be happy. And others, well, maybe not so happy. We've all talked about it. What's the best thing to do for all of us, for the whole town? We've gone over the weather predictions, we've added up how much food we have for the winter, and we've talked about is it a good idea to give away some of what we have, when we don't really know how long the winter will last. Like all of you, I... I can only vote what I think, and what I feel. So on the question of should we share our stores of winter food, my vote is... yes. And if a storm comes and we run out of food, they'll never forgive me. Everybody in Berry Bitty City loves you. You had a right to vote for what you believed was best. You weren't the only one who voted to share our food. But I was the tiebreaker. Oh, don't worry, Strawberry. Who's that? It looks like some barricades. Oh, maybe they've come to tell me what they think of me. Well, I better face them. Good evening, everyone. Um, we've talked about it, and we've decided that you've been such a patient referee and reader, Strawberry. You respect all our different points of view, and... So, we'd like to ask you to be in charge of managing the rest of Berry Bitty City's food stores this winter. We think... Well, we think it would be the best thing for all of us. For the whole town. Yes, I agree. Yes. That's a great idea. Take it. Well, why don't we meet here in the morning? And we'll make a plan. All right, yes. sounds good. Yes. Right here. Yes. Great idea. Can we figure out the food situation? Can we still play capture the snowman's nose? Well, I don't see why. I see. I see. <gasps> Look! Well, I think we found our carrot thieves. But none of the carrots were eaten. You weren't hungry? Then why? You wanted to play capture the snowman's nose? <laughs> well then! Yeah! 